Hey guys, welcome to today's episode where we will solve a small little problem that is called Hercule Lex. I will start with reading the problem. Sunu, the beginner mathematician, a third year student at elementary school, she is now learning to take an additional approach. The teacher has written down the sum of multiple numbers that the pupils should calculate the sum. To make the calculation easy, the sum only contains numbers 1, 2, and 3. So that isn't enough for she needs. She is only beginning to count, so she can calculate the sum only if the sum is followed in a non increasing order. For example, she can't calculate sum 1, 3, 2, and 1, but she can calculate sums 1, 2, and 3, and 3. We've got the sum that is written on the back. We arrange the sums and take the sum in such a way that we can calculate the sum. Either as the first line contains a lot of discovers, the sum of the sum is cut. So the S contains no spaces. It only contains digits and spaces. Plus. Besides, string S is correct sum of numbers 1, 2, and 3. String S is a lot of one-hour case of sum. Print the new sum which the new can cut. Okay, so this is our problem. I mean, we have this kind of input. So numbers um, connected with a plus um, in a non-sorted um, way. And we have to give it back a lot of it in a soft way. So um, what we need to do is get this in and save it in the list. That well, in a few rooms is going to be good this input. And take the numbers and do them in the list. Um, for this time, it's not important that we save it as integers, so we just say it with the this case. And we have to split it when the plus is coming, so that we have the um, numbers as elements in our list. And then we we'll sort it, um, and then we'll get it in the output. So go through our list. Um, connect the numbers that are solid now with a plus and print it out. So I will start now. That means our numbers are the input that is read and we will split it to plus sign. Um, now we want to sort them. Um, what we are doing here. So, um, let's see, for example, um, yeah. when you type in 3 plus 2 plus 1, you get 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Mm, now, what we need to do is um, we will find an output that is an empty string that we can concatenate all numbers to it. Um, then we iterate the list of numbers and our output is the output plus the number that we have in our list and the plus sign. Okay, so um, you'll see we have one small problem here. I will show you just a small example. Once again, 2 plus 2 plus 1, we get 1 plus 2 plus 2, and of course here we get the plus here. Um, we have here a small list trick um, we can use, because uh, when the string is seen as a list of characters, and we can use this here and say, okay, we want the whole list, so the complete string, but not the last character. And this is made by saying, okay, we'll start at zero and we go until the point where it's minus one. So one uh, before the end. And we print like this, we make an example. Now we get the solution. Um, we will try this. Yeah. 
and policy errors accepted. Okay, so I think it's pretty straightforward this problem, and uh, only the very interesting part is this kind of thing. So that we handle the string as a list of characters, and yeah, I think this is it. Thank you for uh, attending, thank you for listening. Um, if you have any feedback, I am very pleased that you give it to me. Um, otherwise, see you at the next video. Thank you and goodbye.